Welcome to Clean with Re. My name is Marita. I just want to say I am so proud of the 500 plus subscriber milestone that we have accomplished. We are almost there, you guys. Thank you so much. So because of this, I think it is only fair that I not only introduce myself, but tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, I would just first like to acknowledge that it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and I am a six year breast cancer survivor. I am married, I am a mom of three, and I recently became a stay at home mom for about six months now. Um, so this is all new to me, you guys. I never realized how much work it was to stay at home. I had second guess myself, like, did you, do the, did you make the right decision? Cause you gotta stay working, okay? You just never realize how much work it is in being a, a mom and a wife, you know? So it was a job within itself. I just, I just never realized that. But anyway, um, I love and I trust God. Um, and I thank God for this journey. Everybody is not able to do it. And um, my husband was very okay with me doing this. So I thank him too for that. This year came with some challenges though, of course, but I have been having a great year with the help of God. I have started caregiving for my grandmother this year. So you often uh, see me tell you, well, you often see me wash her clothes and I let you guys know that I'm washing her clothes. I wash her clothes and then I prep and cook meals for her and also get groceries and stuff for her. If you ask me what do I want to do, I would tell you, take a trip. I enjoy traveling. So when some of you guys tell me where you're from, I get excited because I love to travel. I love adventures. And of course, I love to shop. One of my favorite stores would probably be Ross. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be cleaning and we're going to be taking a break, um, which is going to be important because we need a break from not just physical, but mental, mentally we need a break. And then we're going to finish up cleaning and then um, we're going to start uh, printing some pictures to put in our picture frames that we have bought from Marshall. We're also going to be cooking the famous, um, what is it, orange chicken from Trader Joe's today that TikTok made us buy. And we're going to see how that tastes. So my intention was just to lightly clean, but I ended up just getting in a mode. So I, I kind of cleaned more than I wanted to. If I could, I would get something new, something new Then I would have what it takes Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some Someone like you, someone like you Like you are 
with this rack that I had um, bought from Marshalls a lot of you probably already had one it's really really convenient to have Okay, y'all, we're going to have us a good old bacon sandwich. I have, for some reason, been craving a BLT, which is bacon, lettuce, and toast. We're going to make enough for me, and we're going to make enough for Granny. Okay, so I am a firm believer in multitasking, but not taking on too much, okay? We don't want to take on too much that it overwhelms us, but we still want to try to do what we can. 
So while the bacon is cooking on low, we're going to still clean. Getting to know me, you will learn that wherever I am, that portable heater is. Okay? I stay cold. Okay, so the ladies that know, you know, that these clothes right here are just clothes that need to be hung back up because I was trying to look for something to wear. So we're going to rehang them. And just organize the closet a little bit. Okay, so depending on how many videos you've watched, um, I compromise having a small space. So it's almost time to take out all the summer stuff and put in my winter shoes because I have to store my winter stuff so that my closet won't be overloaded. Now the papers that's all in the top drawer that seems like it's a cluttered mess are important because I need to remember to do those things. So I kind of left them there. Sure you believe me, but I 
But if I mean to show you, I will never let you go, no Cause you don't see the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby, you are something special, I'm sure Everything makes total sense when you're next to me Okay, y'all, thank God the bacon didn't burn. Um, I did burn the toast, okay? Y'all don't see it, but I don't. I just my second round on the toast, okay? I really need a toaster, but I, I don't like having too many appliances on my counter. But we'll talk about that later. Okay,
when I'm with you, oh yeah You like the things that I like If you don't know, you always give it a try No one can blame me for crying When I'm without you, when I'm without you, yeah Know you got dreams of your own Sure you got places to go But I just want you alone, oh yeah, yeah it's hard to be you, all the things you need to do But baby, it's hard for me too, oh yeah, yeah. Mayday, mayday, is there anybody who can help me? I don't think my heart is working lately, lately I can hear it calling for you Okay, y'all, so yeah, here we go. This is the second round of toast. Y'all didn't get to see the first when I burnt up, okay? Putting it on broil, putting it in there, and then I don't forget. But um, I almost burnt the second batch, but you know, we just, I just said I'll eat it crunchy, Lord. <laughs> Okay, so another fun fact about me is that I love green matcha. I also only like the Oatly oat milk. However, my husband decides to buy a different brand probably because Oatly is not sold in every store. Like, I don't believe Walmart sells it, only Kroger's here. And trying this one for the first time, I didn't like it at all. But I definitely would recommend Oatly. It is a great substitute for regular milk. Even if I try and try too hard, nothing's ever enough. Even if I try and try too hard, tell me what to do, say anything. Okay, so the BLT, the bacon lettuce on toast is for me. And then I'm making my granny just some regular toast. She likes jelly. And then I'm just going to add a few pieces of bacon for her. And remember, don't talk about my toast now. Y'all don't know the struggle, okay? You can't talk about folks when you don't know what the struggle, okay? I done burnt it. I done burnt it twice. I ain't cooking it no more. Okay, I just wanted to talk a little bit about anxiety and depression because a lot of us suffer from it knowingly and unknowingly. A lot of times we may not realize it, you know. Um, I believe people, especially entrepreneurs and stay-at-home moms and housewives or whatever, we I don't think we realize a lot of times how important it is for us to have a break. 
when we work nine to fives, you're, you know, you're guaranteed a break. You have a break, you have a lunch break. It's important to just realize sometimes we can't get it all done at once. I know sometimes it feels better for me, you know, to feel like if I do it all now, then I can rest later. But sometimes that mental break is just important. It's important to have a break for both your physical and mental health. I had to realize that although I'm a stay-at-home mom and, you know, my time is my own, I still need to take a break. So I started going to the gym to work out for my physical health, but then I realized the walks in the park were even more comforting for my mental health because it was less people. I was alone. I got to think clearly. I had time with God. I could pray. I could listen to music. And it was just so meditating to my mind. And then after that break, I will continue the rest of my day. All right, you guys, we back from my walk. I went to Trader Joe and I got some fresh flowers. They're called spray roses. They were only half the price of the regular roses. So these was $5. Um, they don't look as pink anymore. They look kind of purple, but they were supposed to be pink for breast cancer awareness month. Okay, so you guys, I I'm, I might need to turn the big light on because I hate the big light because it kind of gives that yellow tone, but I must be the only one that just started shopping Trader Joe. I mean, I don't know, but I feel that way. So anyway, even my mom was telling me about the orange chicken. And um, I was like, you know, I bought that the last time I went to Trader Joe's. You know, TikTok made me do it. Everybody's been talking about it. And I st we still haven't tried it yet. And so when she talked about it, I was like, you know what? I got to fix this orange chicken because she was just saying it is really good. She, she informed me that you can get the rice from Trader Joe's too. So I didn't know that. So I got chicken fried rice because when I tried to call her, I was like, do I get the chicken fried one or the one that says vegan? Like, which one do you get? And then they had another brand because I know brands make a difference because it's certain brands that I have bought from Trader Joe's or anywhere. And it's like, you know, one is better than the other. So she didn't reply back quick enough. So I ended up getting this brand and I got the chicken fried rice. Um, They had this brand in vegan also. Um, So I got two of these and then I got... Two more orange chicken because I only bought one. So I was like, that might not be enough, especially for all of us. So I got a total of three now. I might only do two, but just to be on the safe side. So that's all I got from Trader Joe. Okay, if you want to see the orange chicken again, that everyone is and it's good and this is the fried rice so my husband has put in some new lights that i guess are like alexa type lights you can, you can do it off his phone so he's trying to figure out <clears throat> how to make them play by music right now they change colors you can <clears throat> do everything from your phone He's going to see if he can hook up Alexa so that we can just do it even without being to our phone. So I'm excited about that. I'm trying to see what this going to look like with the music. So it, once he figure it out, I'll show you guys. So, yeah, that's all. That's all I have to talk about. That's all of the, the grocery haul. Okay, so now I'm going to just, I'm, now we're going to just put the flowers in some water. I think I'm going to use the vase that has the fake tulips in them and just take them out for right now and just use this for the the, the fresh flowers then once these die or pass away we'll replace them so that's what we're gonna do Comment below if you use the food. I feel like every time I use the food, my flowers die faster. Someone else said they agreed, but I'm just curious. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, so in case you don't know, the bleach allows the water not to get cloudy. Just putting a dab of bleach into your water. Looking at these roses, they were so pretty. Pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Shout out to all the cancer and breast cancer survivors. Okay, so my goal is always to cook, clean, and get content until it's time to pick the kids up from school. Everyone is different, but for me, I've been learning to start my mornings out with prayer first instead of just grabbing my phone, jumping on social media, and just feeling rushed to get dressed all the time. So that has helped me the most. After surviving breast cancer, I really start realizing that your health, how important your health was. You know, I was a breast cancer patient at a young very young age um so if sometimes you see me trying to eat things that are vegan or trying but you know i i don't i'm not perfect i mess up i i try sometimes to eat healthy i try sometimes to substitute some foods for vegan type meals um but i also didn't never realize how important mental health was at the beginning of the video, you saw me dividing out my vitamins. I do believe vitamins are essential for both physical and mental health. Just as I realized that those walks in the park for my mental health was just as important as going to the gym for my physical health. But I'm still learning. I don't have it all together. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to do the best that I can and that's all that we all can do is just try our very best you know life is always just trial and error so try not to be too hard on yourself take it one step at a time one goal at a time so right now my next goal right now that I'm focusing on is learning how to prioritize my time my schedule includes a lot of things such as appointments for me, my kids, and my grandmothers, uh, my social life, having me time, being a mom and a wife. You know, it's important to try not to overwhelm yourself, although you have all these things you have to do. So because this is new to me staying at home, I'm trying to realize the schedule that I need to set for myself, the routine that I need to set for myself so that I can make use my time wisely, but yet not feel overwhelmed.
So although this video is to help others, it's also helping me because I'm learning just like everyone else on how to manage time, you know, and not to feel pressured because it's no fun being overwhelmed. So I'm in the process of just trying to prioritize my time better. I'm, I'm doing this and I'm realizing that, you know, God is in control of everything, even the time. And as long as I believe in him, I can do all things through him. So to enable this, I realized that I have to get up early, plan ahead and leave bigger gaps so that I won't feel rushed overwhelmed and crammed with too many things at one time if you leave bigger gaps it leaves room for when something else comes up basically don't put too much on yourself only do what needs to be done if there is room for more then add it but only if there's room for more I don't know about y'all, but it be the expressions on my face for me, y'all. Y'all can't tell me I'm being clean and mo. Sometimes we put more on ourselves than we realize. If you don't really need it, don't do it. Whether it's a purchase or something you just want to do, or if it's even overtime at work. And if it is necessary, then do it. But don't ever overwork yourself. Because you are all you got. You are all your kids have. And you are all that your spouse has. So you are important. And your health is important. There is no one else in this world like you or who can be you. You are the only you that there is. And remember that job needs you or someone else. Meaning that you're replaceable with them. But your loved ones can never replace you. And no, Marita ain't telling you to quit your job. Marita just telling you to take it easy on yourself. Love you first. So these are the two storage bins that I bought from the Dollar Tree for $125. Now you guys know if you follow me that I have also purchased two from Amazon for $8. Now the two that I purchased from Amazon should be just like the one that you see sitting in my storage cubicle already. However, it's smaller. It's just the same size as the Dollar Tree one. 
it's a little bit more sturdier but what is not worth keeping so i'm putting it back together to send it back to amazon and i'm gonna just keep the dollar tree ones because it's the same height as the dollar tree ones the whole purpose of amazon was to be sturdier and bigger as you can tell the ones in the previous order were tall enough for the cubicle these were not little piece of aloe vera that he done planted he he bought the the vase he done sold it he, he bought everything y'all i said this was the cutest little vase you could have put it in i love the little glass vase 
So I'm just helping him water it. He said you're not supposed to water it too much, only once a month. It looked it really dry to me, so I hope I'm not hurting it. So just remember how important it is to be the best you that you can be by treating yourself the very best, okay, girl? Treat yourself the very best, whether you are male or female. That girl just came out as a habit. But treat yourself the very best, okay? And if you're religious, remember to accept things that you can't change. Put God first. And know that you can do, do anything, but never be anxious for nothing. Thank you all for your support, subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. We on the road to a thousand subscribers, okay? Okay, you guys. So this is everything that I got from Shein. Um, I had went to uh marshall's and got another drawer the smaller one that i was missing it was 13 dollars so i just wanted to show you that before i show you everything from she in and also i have went to ross and got a mop i was in desperate need of a new mop this was eight dollars okay so everything I got from Shein, I got another um, tote, tub scrubber, shower scrubber, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one is for upstairs because they needed one. I got this little mug. It's, I wanted something to pour my cream, to use to pour my cream in. I thought it, it looked much bigger, but it's so much smaller. Um... It's crazy because everything that everything came the opposite of what I expected. Like I expected this cup to be bigger. Um, I expected this portable washing machine to be smaller. Um, this is super big, super big. I I don't know. It just looks so much smaller when advertised. Um, if I would have known it was this big, I probably wouldn't have got it because I actually have just been wanting to get one because I was like, oh, that would be neat for me to um, be able to wash my dish towels real quick without, you know what I mean, just having to always put them in a, a load of laundry, just really wash them out, wring them out real good. So I had got that this for that purpose. Um, but yeah, it's super big. I, I can't remember if this was the smallest size or not. Um, I guess this is the tub you put the stuff in. It's small. But yeah, the body of it is super big. It's the lid. And then it, you know, it collapses so that you can store easily. And then it came with this adapter right here and the plug so yeah i have had this by the door for so long that i don't know i'm hoping i'm not really past my point of return because i i think i probably will return it oh um, <laughs> it's too big i don't already limited on space and i'm just like where would i store that 
Um, I had got this expandable hold on, bucket. I had ended up seeing it in Marshalls. They had one, but I had already ordered it. Um, this is supposed to be the largest. I would hate to see what the smallest look like. This is supposed to be the large. Um, because I hate that I can't put my mop bucket up. Like, I, I'm, I'm limited on, like, storage. So, something like this was, was helpful because I could, you know, close it down. And then I could probably stick it on the side of the washing machine or the dryer or something like that. So, that's why I got this one. Instead, I'm going to throw the other one out. Um, so, yeah. Let me show you guys. So, you can see this is the large. Like I said, I would hate to see what the smile looked like. And, yeah. So, I would definitely recommend large. Um, and that's, that's all I got outside of a purse and some sunglasses. I usually only show what's like really related to the video. Okay, y'all, I was just putting up the purse that I bought and the sunglasses that I didn't show. Like I said, I usually only try to show what's related to the video as far as like cleaning and maybe home decor or something. Um, and then I'm going to start on the pictures. Y'all remember the picture frames that I bought from Marshalls? If you haven't watched that that video, you can tune into that one. I believe it's the video before this one. Um, I'm, I want the pictures to be in black and white. So I'm going to print off three pictures for the three picture frames that I'm going to put in my bedroom. And um, I decided to do our marriage pictures. We didn't have... Um, a wedding we just had like a courthouse wedding because me and my husband has been together for 20 years so when we got married we had been together so long we just decided on a short wedding so I'm going to clean up the area where the printer is before I print the pictures but that's what we're about to get into Okay, so I had to buy some ink. I bought black ink and colored ink. It was just cheaper that way. And I also bought some photo paper from Walmart. It was really cheap. I think it was like 90, I mean 90, nine dollars. And the ink was $52. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't 
okay so now that i set the printer up with the new ink in the paper i decided to take a break and start on our food because it was getting pretty late so here's me trying to read the instructions to a, a quick meal as if i needed to because after i realized okay you just cook this marita like you know how <laughs> But anyway, you guys, it turned out to be pretty good. The orange chicken is a lot sweet. So if you don't really like sweet, um, I'm sure everybody know what orange chicken tastes like. But to me, it was extra sweet. Um, but I really enjoyed, it, enjoyed the fried rice. Uh, my mom had advised me that I should have got the vegan rice because I did not care for the raw chicken that was in the chicken rice. So I ended up taking it out she told me um that she get, gets the vegan one remember as i said earlier when i tried to ask her what type she got she wasn't available so i just settled on getting the chicken fried rice but it was the vegan fried rice that she usually gets so just the fyi she also my mom also advised me that she adds her own egg to it and so i was adding my own egg and then i cooked the rice in one pot with the egg and then i fried the chicken in another skillet and um after i cooked the two bags of chicken because i ended up doing two bags of chicken and two bags of rice for all of us i then later add the sauce to the chicken Okay, you guys, that was what we've been waiting for all day. My husband had the lights dancing to a song. He said you could only do the songs that it allowed. You couldn't do your own personal songs, but that was nice. When I'm with you, oh yeah You like the things that I like If you don't know, you always give it a try No one can blame me for crying When I'm without you, when I'm without you, yeah Know you got dreams of your own Sure you got places to go But I just want you alone, oh yeah, yeah I know it's hard to be you Okay, so if you look at the phone and you look at the picture, you can tell this is a big fail. Okay, it's me over here trying to do this by myself. No, no, this is not how it's supposed to look, Maria. 